joined by our Lee School MVP, DeSante Bonin, head coach Eric Bradshaw. DeSante was 32-30 with about two minutes to go. You scored four straight points and then had two great outlet passes that led to two easy buckets. What were you thinking late that gave you guys so much troubles despite only having five players? How did you put your team over the top? Uh, I think we just had a momentum run in the second half, and we got a lot of like momentum from our coach, Eric Bradshaw, and that's about it. It's a, it's a packed house here. You knew that Lee School 15 was playing. You knew Lee School 18 was playing. Did you feel a little bit of pressure to get that first win under your belts to help out the rest of the Lee School program? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on a lot of us because we had the first game either way, so we just wanted to take it home. You're only 12. Are you already thinking about next year and potentially bringing home another title? Yes, I, I think we'll have a, another great team next year like we do every year. And I think we'll get a two-peat back to back. Congratulations to Santana. Great game. We'll bring in head coach Eric Bradshaw. Coach, first you have to talk about this individual. 19 of your 30 of your 40 points. 19 of your first 36. How much does he bring to this squad? Some great outlet pass at the end to put it away. But clearly, you you needed a go-to score against a great offensive team. Yeah, he's um he's probably the youngest on our team. Um, but he's so versatile. That's the thing about him. He can shoot the three, get to the rack. He has nice size. He's 12 years old. You know, and he's a good kid. The thing about him, when we ended up getting the two point guards, Kyrell and Rowell, -Ro, it put him in a natural position to be the two or the three because before he had to play the one. Getting him off the point was really, really bonus for us. And he, and he has good confidence. You know, I just tell him, don't rush it. You know, and um, you got to get the Titans some credit, man, please. Five kids, what they did, took the lead, put us on their backs. They missed a couple of threes. They usually knocked those down. So you got to give the Titans a whole lot of credit here. I'm just happy we won. It's a tough game. I respect uh, Coach Bean from the Titans for years and Reese. And I love my kids, man. We'll be back next year. I don't know if I will, but they'll be. Coach, one last question. You talk about the Titans, five players, but some significant size. What were you trying to do to get your guys to rebound as hard as they did? They were getting at some of those loose balls because they couldn't necessarily get some of those balls that were a little bit higher up in the air. That's something keep fighting. See, if you challenge the rebound, it may not come off to you, but it might hit the floor. Then it's our game. Because no one's getting the ball from Terrence. Terrence is so long and tall. Like I say, he's a naturally a three, point of five for them. A great advantage for them. And then the kid with the braids. Oh, my God. That all, every put back he could get. We had to get that out the way. DeSante and Josh, you know, fighting for it, and the balls bounced our way. And we got lucky, you know. But we'll take it. You know, much respect to the Titans and the Lee School. Congratulations, Coach. A victory 13 under. We'll see you the rest of the day. Thank you. One win down, potentially two more for the Lee School. It was Lee School one with the victory in this one.